What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And continuing on in my series of Sony Pictures Animation Reviews, in today's video I'll be taking a look at the 2010 direct-to-video sequel, Open Season 3. When Boog's pals choose their family obligations over the annual guys trip and a disappointed Boog decides to take a trip of his own, which leads him right into the middle of a circus ring, literally, when he switches places with a devious look-alike circus grizzly and falls for an alluring Russian troop member, he'll come to realize that maybe you don't have to choose between family and friendship after all. So open season three, this was released in 2010. This is yet another direct-to-video sequel in the Open Season franchise. This one, unlike Open Season 2, I never watched when it came out as a kid, mainly because I hated Open Season 2 when it came out, and it's still bad all these years later. So I think by this point, I had been burned out with the Open Season movies, and so I ignored these direct-to-video sequels until now. So... What are my thoughts on Open Season 3? Well, Oh, it's so bad! Oh man, Open Season 3, I mean, what do I have to say about this movie? I mean, the animation is terrible, like, you can tell how cheaply made these sequels are, like, just the characters just look off compared to what they were in the first movie. And there's a lot of scenes that feel like I'm watching a video game cutscene because they're that bad. I would just, in utter shock at how poorly made this movie was on a technical level. It is so bad, you guys. The voice casting is not good either. Like, they picked terrible sound-alikes to replicate the original voice actors from the original movie. And it's so distracting that it took me out of the movie. I don't think anybody in Open Season 3 reprised their roles except Crispin Glover, who played the dog from the second movie, who was the villain, but he's now an ally in this movie. But even Crispin Glover, I feel like even he's phoning it in. All he does is scream and make over-the-top noises just for the sake of being obnoxious, and it just doesn't work. I don't like the direction of this story. It is very predictable where it goes. They almost, they did like a Prince and a Pauper type story with the two bears and it is so predictable by the end of it. And the characters are so annoying in this movie. They are so unlikable in this movie. You think Boog is the character you want to sympathize for, but then he has some selfish ideas like you know, he wants to do this guy's trip, but all the other characters have different family obligations, and Boog is painted out to be the bad guy in all this, and that's kind of a problem, because the movie wants you to feel bad for him, but he's also pretty selfish about it as well, like, he's a jerk to everybody, like, they want, they have, they're moving on, they have other obligations to do, and Boog think. And Boog thinks that Guy's Trip is the most important thing in the whole wide world. But there's other priorities as well. And Boog just never realizes that. And I'm like, really? Boog is really annoying in this movie. Elliot is even more annoying in this movie. Like, you think he would mature up because he's now a family man. But he's just as annoying. He's just as obnoxious. And he's just as grating as he ever was. And he doesn't learn anything in this movie. That's the problem. I mean, like, he acts like a complete dork and a complete idiot in front of his entire kids. And his kids have to be the one to step in and bail him out. And when your kids have to bail out your dad, that is embarrassing. And Elliot just annoyed the crap out of me in this movie. Like, I did not care for this movie at all. The doppelganger bear is like this lazy bear who wants to do nothing and he wants to be like the king of the forest and all that. And so he's kind of like the villain of the movie, if you will. And that character is bad. There's like this llama character in the circus who is like 
Jar Jar Binks level in the wing. He's so obnoxious. I don't. I didn't like any of the characters in this movie. It's just 74 minutes of characters screaming their heads off, pandering to the lowest common denominator. This movie is terrible. I'd say of the Sony animation movies, this is like emoji movie levels bad. The only good thing about Open Season 3, it's at least short. It's only 74 minutes. Thankfully, it didn't overextend its runtime, but aside from that, like there's very little positives I can say about this movie. This is just an other embarrassment and a torturous movie to get through. I did not enjoy Open Season 3 one bit. It definitely ranks among the worst direct-to-video films I've ever seen. Very close to matching Bell's Magical World and just how bad a direct-to-video animated sequel can be. Open Season 3 is horrible. I don't recommend this one at all. It makes Open Season 2 look like a masterpiece in comparison, and I didn't like Open Season 2 either, so... Open Season 3 is horrible. Horrible. Don't watch it. Don't. Don't watch it, you guys. It is so bad. I'm giving Open Season 3 half a star out of 5, and on the 100-point scale, it's getting a 6 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Open Season 3 as part of my series of Sony Pictures Animation Reviews where I'm reviewing the complete filmography of this animation studio. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Sony Pictures Animation playlist where I reviewed the previous Open Season films at the time of this video along with Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and Surf's Up. I have a lot more Sony Animation Reviews coming your way. Join me next time in this series where I'll be taking a look at, oh my god! the Smurfs. Ah, we're on the bad run of Sony Animation. I hated this movie. I really hated this movie even when it came out. Oh, I don't want to revisit this. Ah, no, no. Let's get this over with. We, this is the next one. Join me next time as I relive terrible memories with the Smurfs. But if you've seen Open Season 3, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!